Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Master of Orion 2. We're going to continue right where we left off. So let's see, we have multiple wars going on. And I'm trying to decide if I want to keep fighting with the Sakura or if I want to offer them peace. I mean, they're almost gone. Uh, world here with one. World here with three. Yeah, they're pretty much done anyway. I could finish them off, but it doesn't make a whole lot of difference other than the end score. Let's see. Hmm. I am going to head up here to Narn, however. Grab a battleship 3 and go back to Min. I have a feeling I'm going to have some ships inbound to Min here shortly. I want to go get rid of Narn, because I think that that's what they're using to have range to me. That's what it seems like. The Silicoids. So let's take that away from them, shall we? Let's look at the colonies real quick. Food. Okay, food's good. If I get weather controller technology, which comes... After terraforming, if memory serves. Yeah, it's the next tier. Plus two food production per farmer. That's pretty significant. Yeah, you can also get plus one to everything from Astro University. You pretty much have one world supplying all the food to the Empire. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I could do it, though. And I'm, I might. I'm also going to take this crystal out and uh, take this world here. And yeah, that's that's a nice world. There's no reason for me not to grab that. So I plan on making that. Uh, that's a priority at this point. Oh, my buddies are now at war with the Silicoids too, huh? Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's propose peace. Okay, so now I only have open war with them. Maybe they would accept peace. If I didn't have to worry about fighting them for a few turns and focused on research, I could pump out crazy amounts of tech very quickly, refit my ships, and then go smack them down. Okay, let's try at least. War is a terrible thing. Battle outside leads to war within. Seek peace or justice. This time peace wins. Okay. Good. So I'm at peace with everyone for like the first time. <laughs> the first time in the game other than the very, very start. Okay, so let's switch from... Trade. Let's switch from production to research. Okay, you need to finish that project. And I guess we'll let you keep working on that. Combat. No, no, we don't want to fight anything. Nope, oh, nope, we're all buddies now. No one wants to fight. It's all good. So we're just going to hit trade goods. Yeah. 353 research on one planet. That doesn't suck. That's the technical term. <laughs> Let's build a couple of spies. And... Research. Let's pull this ship back. I gotta do something about my money here in a... Like, ASAP. Okay, let's grab... Yeah, let's grab the weather control center. Or system. Something's gonna have to go on... Somebody's gonna have to be the money generator. 
Hmm. Maybe my home world for now. Yeah, let's let's bring you off of research. And yeah, you can just do trade goods for right now. Generate money for us. There we go. Okay. Well, we're not at war with them, so they can come on by, I guess. Transport ships and head back. Or nothing. Ultra rich. Okay, what are you building? Missile base? That's fine. Wow, I am way overbuilt. <laughs> okay. Need need more need more need more stations quickly. Okay, Robo Miner, Pollution Processor, Missile Base. Actually, let's do Pollution Processor first. Colony ship here. 31 turns, huh? How many to get it down to one? All of them? Oh, two, huh? Okay. And food? is bringing a lot of ships in here. Why is the question. Well, I'm actually not overly concerned about it. You can't do much. Oh, financial leader plus 60, labor plus 60, science plus 60, plus 30, spiritual leader. See, this is why I say always leave a spot open. This guy is awesome. Okay, I definitely want him. So, who am I going to get rid of? I don't know. I'll check in just a second. Let's look. Leaders. I could get rid of this science leader. He's not that great. I don't really need him. Yeah, let's get rid of him. And can't hire him yet but I will be able to before before his time in the pool is gone man he's yeah he's awesome plus 60 labor that's gonna be huge okay what's next Penalty one. Okay, Robo Miner. Biosphere cloning. Atmosphere renewer. Spaceport stock exchange. Terraforming? And I'll turn that into a Terran world since it's already an ocean world. So it's, uh, barren, then, well, okay, if it's radiated, you put a shield on it, any kind of shield, like, the starting technology is radiation shield, so that that makes it barren. Go from barren to desert, um, or tundra, I think it is, those are on the same level, and then you have, uh, like, next tier up is, like, swamp. And then Ocean, and then Terran, and then Gaia. I think it's the order, if I remember correctly. Sure is sending a lot of stuff over here. Okay, weather control system's done. Awesome. 
Let's grab... Let's grab some more weapon systems, shall we? Been sort of waiting to do that. Transports. Go to the forward base. We've got plenty of them. And do we have that colony ship done? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's send some ships from men. You go guard men. I'd, I'd never want to leave that system, like, completely empty. Leaders. I want to assign him. No, not right now. I'll assign him after I do upgrades. Let's see. Hold on. No, not colony management. Give me the leaders again. Hire. Now, where can he make the most impact? Well, a system like this, where you have multiple worlds, is pretty awesome, but this is not a production system. So for now, I'd probably get the biggest gain, biggest kick out of doing it here. Yeah. For now, it would be this one. So let's send him there. That puts her back in the pool. We'll put her... Uh, on our home world. Yep. Hold on, go back in there. There we go. If you exit back out and come back in, and someone's been, like, removed... <laughs> that's a nice... I don't know, it's, it's a little gamey, but... If they get dumped back in the pool, and you go back out of leaders and then go back in, and then assign them to the home system, they'll immediately be assigned. Because somehow they teleported back into the pool, which is a link to the home system. <laughs> I don't know why, but whatever. It's fine, we'll take it. Okay, now... What's in a growth mode? Not really that system. This one? No, I mean, I guess as it builds up, it will be. Ah, uh, we'll send him here anyway. A plus 22% for the food is good. From a spiritual bonus. Morale, right? Okay, we've got to fight the space crystal. We could do it. Let's scan him. Crystal ray, 500 points of armor, huh? Oh, okay. This doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad. Okay, actually it was pretty easy. Remember those things being a little tougher. I guess not. Okay, let's go get our nice new world then. And... Let's see, let's send a ship here. Let's send a ship here. And then these two can go back to Min. Colony ship, there we go. Nice, got some additional food from the natives. And we're gonna do we're gonna buy a robo miner if we can. Then we'll do marine barracks, gravity generator, automated factory, pollution processor, atmospheric renewer. There we go. So that place is set for a while. And let's send some uh 
Let's send some population that way, shall we? Uh, yep, let's go down here. Raiders negative two, huh? Okay. Need to build some more of those. Who can do that for us? Well, you can. It's not the best use of your time, but whatever. Build a couple of those. Okay, you stay on trade goods for now. Three more turns, huh? Okay. Then you get working on terraforming. Okay. Now we need to do the Weather Control Center. Yeah, Weather Controller. Yeah, we'll swap this. 13 turns. Okay. That doesn't apply to them, huh? The natives? Guess it doesn't. The bonuses? Morale affects them. But the other bonuses don't. Okay. So weather controller really, really wouldn't do much for us here. However, the fact that this is going to be terraformed and will be a Terran world soon will make a difference. Nope. Don't want to fight. Okay, now let's do Robo Miner, Radiation Shield, Fighter Garrison. Atmospheric Renewer. Fighter Garrison, Radiation Shield. Oh, it's toxic. So radiation shield's not gonna clear up the atmosphere, but I, we can do it anyway. It's a cheap defensive thing that we can put on the planet. Then do biospheres, and then let's grab the things to add profit to it. Boating for myself. Actually, hold on. I don't want to vote for myself, do I? No, I'm gonna abstain. Actually, I don't want to end. I don't want to end this. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> okay, atmospheric renewer. Atmospheric renewer, and then we have a research lab, and then boning center and battle station. Okay, we need to renew her over here. Okay, looks good. Plus 19 food, huh? Okay, why did that happen all of a sudden? Oh, Terran World. Right. No, that hasn't happened yet. So why did it just shoot up all of a sudden? Oh, uh, the leader up. That's right, that leader arrived, so plus 20% output. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then let's see if we can't speed this up a bit. There we go, four turns until the weather controller's done. Phasers are done, good. They will not be set to stun. <laughs> <sighs> Crack myself up. 
Alright, let's see. Planet construction would be nice to have. Class 5 shields would be nice to have. Or I could just keep running up the uh, weapon chain here. Hmm. Cybersecurity link? I wouldn't mind having that either. Morale on all planets is increased by 10%. Spirals by 10%. Heightened intelligence plus one research for all scientists. Actually, let's grab this. That's pretty useful right now. Later on, it's not going to be worth anything to us. Okay, so now this is Terran. Um, what do we want to do? I think we'll just do housing here to build this up as quickly as possible. So 276k per turn. So every four turns, essentially. Well, actually, almost every three turns we get another population. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now... More battleships? I don't think so. We shift... The research... 410. Wow. Don't really want to research on this world. I mean, ideally I wouldn't, but... I don't need to build any more ships right now, because... I, uh, I'm way over on my command points. It's just costing me too much money, so... Better off not doing that right now. I can rapidly build more ships as I need them. Okay, let's look at info here. Okay, so tech and tech. Okay, so we're neck and neck and tech. Us and the Silicoid. So they're doing the same thing. They're focusing on research. Let's take a look at fleet. Okay, I have a much bigger fleet. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. So I could refit my ships and then sort of like take out all these smaller guys and then deal with the Silicoid. I could do that. They're really the only thing keeping me from winning at this point. Let's see. Let's do cloning center and terraforming. I gotta I have to leave them on trade goods for now, fortunately. Wow, plus fifty-six food, okay. These people can come off. Yeah. Looks like Build some freighters. Yep, yeah, that's what you're gonna do for a few turns. Build freighters. Heightened Intelligence and Psionics is done. Good. Now, Universal Antidote is good because it gives you a plus 50% uh, growth rate. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but not, cumul uh, not um, cumulative with microbiotics. So it's sort of like, meh, meet me. <laughs> so it would, it, I mean, it's still good, but it's not like tremendous. Let's grab shield capacitors, like that. Ion drive, good. Stock exchange is done, alright, and... Although simulator... Now, this is when you start deciding how much research do you really need. Um, like, I probably won't 
Like on this planet, I probably won't even worry about it. Putting an auto lab, a research lab, or whatever on here. Because I'm, I'm generating a ton of research points, and I'm, I'm going to start making these huge leaps, huge technological leaps. And I don't need to build a bunch of research infrastructure if I've already, you know, getting a tremendous number of, of research points per turn. It just, it, it, it doesn't make sense to keep doing it. Because ultimately you're going to cap out. And yes, you can keep researching once you get to the max level. Um, you get minor efficiency increases and you get some point increases for your in-game score. But past that, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. So at, at, at about this point is when you want to look at it and say, okay, um, worlds that can't do anything else. Okay, so like, okay, let's take a look at this planet. Okay, so this is an ultra-rich world. I'm not going to research on this world anyway. That's not what it would be for. It would be for production, right? Either to make, uh, make me more credits per turn for trade goods or for actually building ships or whatnot. That's what it, it'll be utilized for. So there's no reason for me to, to build more research infrastructure on this planet. On this planet, that's poor, once I have a battleship and everything else, uh, not a battleship, battle station and like all of the protected kind of things on this world, it kind of does make sense to add research infrastructure to this world because I'm probably not going to farm here, even if I terraform it, and the citizens are going to have to do something, so they might as well research because I'm probably not going to have them be building. Make sense? Hope so. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.